Podcaster and science and technology advocate Maggie Philbin joined over 60 female school students in exploring the multifaceted world of engineering during a visit to Birmingham Metropolitan College. The BBC presenter and reporter teamed up with Year 8 pupils from Handsworth Girls School to discover the latest techniques in computer-aided design and computer numerical control as well as gain first-hand experience of using an electronics board to show a signal being received from Earth to a satellite. Yeah, can we see? They are both on, yes? The red and the blue, yeah? So it's working. So it can work for NASA. <laughs> Um, my favourite part of today was uh, making the 3D shape of the computer. What's your favourite part of today? My favourite part was the satellite thing that we just did now. Yeah, girls wouldn't probably normally do this because this is like boy stuff. But it does not say that girls can't do engineering like that. Students were also shown how mini rockets could be launched into the air using a mixture of elements including bicarbonate of soda. The event was part of a Getting Girls Into Engineering initiative devised by the Learning and Skills Improvement Service, the LSIS, and hosted at the college's James Watt campus in Great Bar. During a presentation by Maggie Philbin, the learners were asked to come up with an invention that could be developed by scientists and engineers in the future. This exercise showed them that the engineering profession requires imagination, critical thinking and planning skills that they already utilise in their everyday studies. Tomorrow's World was a programme which, as I say, exposed me to what engineering was actually about. That's when I learned about all of the opportunities which are available. There are so many. At the end of this session, I'll give you about 10 minutes, that's about 10 minutes sort of thinking time, to come up with an idea. And the idea I want is a piece of technology that's going to make life better in 2050. With the UK containing the lowest number of female engineers in the whole of Europe, Birmingham Metropolitan College is eager to inspire young females to study engineering, technology and science subjects by showcasing the facilities within their state-of-the-art workshops and by delivering other training initiatives with local schools over the coming academic year. And the important thing with a good idea is that everybody thinks I could use that idea. So this got a massive thumbs up. And this is for the chandel which means it's a special shoe which allows you to decide just how high the heel is going to be on any given day. And we thought that was a merciful idea for those of us who find high heels really, really difficult. And that's Parveen. Where are you, Parveen? <laughs> well done, well done. There you go. Excellent. The engineering industry is made up of designers, developers, technicians and manufacturers amongst many other inspirational and successful vocations. With this in mind, the students left the college believing that in terms of pursuing careers in engineering, the sky was the limit. It's interesting and if more girls could come and see what it's really like, I think they'd be interested in doing it more. Really, there shouldn't be any gender stereotypes in the world anymore. Um, there is equal opportunity, but you know, it's not it's not heavy lifting. You're not you know, limping around heavy metals anymore. You're actually doing um, sort of not gentle things, but you're doing things that are just as important, but perhaps in a different way. And that's why STEM, um, you know, the science, technology, and you know, engineering and mathematics is so important. And girls really should have that opportunity now. I've had an absolutely fantastic day today and the thing is by looking at the faces of those girls so have they. As soon as you walk in this place you want to be part of it. It looks bright, it looks inviting and most importantly it looks bang up to date and that's what really matters today because it's no point going somewhere where you're going to be talked about the careers of yesterday. You need to go somewhere which is completely in touch with what modern business, modern engineering, modern companies actually really want and this place is doing it and when those those girls come in they can sense that about here that it's got its finger on the pulse you could see them sort of like getting more and more engaged and more and more interested it's really really impressive <laughs>